right, so we're going to learn about delays. Delays are a simple way to make the program just kind of pause, do nothing for a little while, uh, so that you can like keep a light on for a certain length of time or keep a motor running for a certain length of time. They're really simple to use, um, and there's a nice library for them. So this library that we're going to use consists of five functions, um, all say delay something, um, and they let you delay for a certain number of instruction cycles. To learn more about it, let's go ahead and open up Courseware. Um, and let's go ahead and make sure that you've got uh, this PDF. So this PDF is this, the C library files uh, for, the, for the MC18 compiler we're using. If you like, you can open it in Chrome. Um, that obviously works. The trouble is Chrome's PDF viewer doesn't give you a table of contents. Um, and I actually find the table of contents useful. So instead what I do is I actually save a link to it. Um, and so like, you know, I downloaded it. Um, turns out I've already got it downloaded. And I open it up with Adobe Reader, uh, not, not Windows 8 Reader. It doesn't show it either. Um, but actually, I download Adobe Reader, uh, which is free. Um, and I like it because it shows me the uh, table of contents on the side. Um, and then you can just click on an area, and it'll just jump there. Um, the section that I'm interested in today, of course, is Chapter 4, which is the General Software Libraries, uh, Section 5. Um, it's on page 146, if you don't have it open in, uh, in the reader. Um, and it tells you about these functions. So it just tells you, uh, you know, real quick, there are five functions that you can use. Um, in order to use these functions, you need to include a library called delays.h. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just so that we don't forget later. Forgetting the include happens all the time. Um, so pound include uh, delays dot h. All right, so there we go. Uh, and so the way these work is they delay for a different number of instruction cycles, um, and they've got a multiplier on them. So there's like there's one if you want to delay in multiples of ten. Uh, there's one if you want to delay in multiples of a hundred, multiples of a thousand multiples of 10,000. Instead of talking about it forever, let's just go do it. Uh, so let's switch over to MPLAB, um, and let's go ahead and uh, modify an example. I've still got my example set up from last time when I was doing button pressed and unpressed. Um, and I mean, if you want to comment it out, you can, but I've done it enough that I'm just going to delete uh, what was there before. And instead of uh, waiting for a button press, uh, I'm just going to type a delay function. So the function that I chose to type, uh, hopefully you can uh, read what I typed, but I typed delay uh, 10k, which is capital K, um, TCY, which is all capitals, uh, and then X, which kind of represents like the multiplication symbol in this case. So it's delay for 10,000 times 50. Um, so in the end, uh, we've got um, 10,000 times 50, uh, which is, of course, 500,000 uh, instruction cycles. Um, and of course, you would not want to type 500,000 lines, but effectively, right there, you just type 500,000 no ops, right? Uh, way easier to do this way. Uh, if we go ahead and run it, uh, everything should be all set. Uh, what should happen is we should flash uh, RC4 which is the bottom uh, LED here, um, on for 50,000 instruction cycles, and then off for 50,000 instruction cycles. Um, if you watch it, you know, you could time it to try to figure out how long it's on for, how long it's off for. But it's far easier to do the math. Um, you can see that we've got the clock set to 4 megahertz. Um, that's really nice because it means one instruction cycle is, you know, one-fourth of that. It turns out that one instruction cycle is one microsecond. Um, so this number right here is equal to um, 50 microseconds, um, which is, if you convert it, sorry, um, sorry, not 50, um, 500,000 microseconds, which is, if you convert it, is equal to exactly uh, 0 0.5 uh, seconds. Uh, so these are the delays. Uh, they're, they're fairly easy to use, um, and they help extend things for a certain length of time um, so that you can actually see an LED be on and off for a while. So looking at the details of this thing, uh, you can see I've typed in uh, into the notes what I, what I did in code. 
Um, most of them work the same. So if we've got delay for 10 or 10K, um, I mean, it just is a multiplier um, and it multiplies it by you know, a certain number of instruction cycles. The way these work is you pass it in a parameter and this is the rub. That parameter is an unsigned char, which means that it can have the values uh, only up to 255. So if you want to delay for more than 255, that's why you would use the next function up, right? So that's the biggest thing that people get wrong is that they try to pass in something that is not in the range of zero to 255. Um, note that zero actually is 256, not zero. Uh, that gets some people as well. And <clears throat> another thing I wanted to warn you about is that the one for one is different. Um, note that there is no X um, and there is no parameter. So you don't pass anything into it. It actually just looks like this. So you just say delay one TCY. And the reason for that is because if they'd had a parameter, it would have taken more than one instruction cycle just to pass a parameter. So they couldn't do that. Um, so they actually had to write it out individually. So if you wanted to delay for, uh, I think this is 155 is what I wrote in here. If you want to delay for 155, you could delay for 100. Um, so one times 100 and then 50, so five times 10, uh, but then the, the last five, uh, I think there's five there, uh, the last five you just have to do one at a time. So delay one is different, and I just wanted to warn you about that. Um, just to mention it, there are different ways you could do things. So this, this 150 part, um, I could have done it in two lines with like a 100 and then a 50, uh, but you actually could have combined it uh, to do it in one chunk, uh, to do it 15 times 10, and that also gets you 150. So you just have to be careful that that parameter is in the acceptable range. So let's practice some together. Practice makes perfect. Um, the first direction we're going to practice is, let's say you were given some code. Um, so notice that this is not uh, 4 megahertz. It's something weird. Um, and then you turn the light on. You delayed for a certain length of time, uh, and then you turn the light off. And so my question is, how long is the light on for? This, by the way, is something we ask in exams all the time. Um, so see if you can figure it out, um, and see if you can tell me the answer, um, which would go into this box right here. I'll talk about this table up top. It's just to help you if you can understand how the table works. All right, I'll give you a minute to do it. Okay, I'm going to work it as well. So the way that I would work this is first I would figure out what is the clock frequency, right? So what is this clock frequency running at? Um, and the only way that you can know is, well, you can memorize them, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, or you can uh, look at some reference. Um, and if I wanted 011, that's 500 kilohertz. Uh, so I know how fast it is. So I'm going to start filling out this table. So I've got 500. Uh, kilohertz. The next thing I need to do is I need to know the instruction cycle frequency, which is 150 kilohertz. I find those easiest to think about in terms of frequency, uh, but then from here on I like to convert into the period domain, uh, which is of course just 1 over 125k. Um, I think that works out to be 8 uh, microseconds. I've done the math once before. Um, and so eight microseconds, or you could write it out in seconds, right? Same thing. Um, and then in order to figure out how long that delay is, you have to know how many instruction cycles it is. Um, so we've got uh, 150 times uh, 10K, and then 50 times uh, 10, <laughs> uh, and then two more after that. Uh, so if I put this whole thing together, I get 150 uh, with four zeros, and then I get 50 plus another zero, and then I get two. So this thing is a grand total of 1,500,500 1, and two. I'm sure those two are going to really make a difference, um, but I can figure out exactly how long it is. And if you do the math on this, uh, I did it once before, 
it comes out to be just over 12 seconds, so 12.004016 seconds. So the answer to how long was it high for? <coughs> About 12 seconds. And I did actually run this on a board, and I tried it, and it was 12 seconds. I could not <laughs> could not uh, accurately detect the uh, the 04016 at the end, uh, but the 12 seconds I could confirm that it worked. So this is one way to go. It's like from code to figure it out. But what you're more likely to do is you're more likely to go the other way, right? So you need a delay. Like in your head, you've decided you need a delay, and then you have to make it happen. Uh, just to kind of pick one here, um, let's say that you wanted the light. So here I'm turning it on. Here I'm turning it off. If you wanted to write the code in here uh, to make it be on for 25.3 milliseconds. I don't know why you would want that, but let's say you did. Um, using a four megahertz clock, so I gave you the easiest clock I could think of. Um, see if you can make that happen on your own. All right, I'm gonna make it happen as well. So the way that this game works is you first have to think about, you know, how fast is my clock? Uh, how fast is my instruction cycle? Um, we've of course done these many times. It's four megahertz, one megahertz. Um, which then makes your period of your instruction cycle be one microsecond, right? It, it was picked to make the math easy. So this many milliseconds could also be written as this many microseconds. So if we have one microsecond, we need that many instructions, right? So somehow we need to make that many instructions. You could do it um, in three steps. So you could say delay, 10k TCY X 2 um, and then you know 1k I'm going to omit the middle 5 and then 103 so you know assume that I have the word delay in here and that would totally work so you wrote it down in three steps but you actually could since it's 253 you could do it in a single statement um, so delay, if we did it times 100, TCYX253, turns out my number was not that arbitrary. Um, I actually could solve this whole thing um, in a single statement. And the reason I can get away with it is because 253 is totally within that range, right? If I had been evil um, and I had said, um, 25.7, um, then you could not do it in a single statement. You would have to break it up into multiple statements. But since I was nice, I made it 253.25.3, which you could do in a single one. All right, so hopefully you're able to kind of write code or read other people's code, um, and that's kind of the whole thing um, about delays. That's all we got. See you next time.